what a mad world we live in, though. I mean, I, I don't know why I should be so disappointed that it's so insane, but it's the world's never been sane. The whole fucking history of the fucking 20, 20th century alone should be proof enough of that. The madness of the fucking times, you know. Entire peoples put to death, you know, because of the fact that they thought that God was on their side. Entire military cemeteries now filled around the world of, with the, the bodies of dead soldiers who were convinced that God was on their side and or on the side of their country and would go to war for it. And nationalism was at an even greater height than it is today. Uh, I mean, at least there are people that are beginning to understand all the ills of nationalism in the 21st century. But no, today, we still, you know, we still have people that will basically have the mentality of a man's a hero, even if it, just because he's, you know, he's our thug. He's our murderous thug, so he's a good person, you know? Americans that, I, I you know, I have to... I'm told by people who are trying to be snotty that come on here and tell me that, you know, oh, you've been rejected by YouTube, as if that's such a fucking tragedy, you know? As if I feel like a pity party towards myself about it. Um, really, I don't feel sorry for myself on that one. The, the primary reason why I don't feel sorry for myself about that one is that it doesn't really actually hurt all that much. I mean, let, let, let's be honest and, and be real about the kinds of folks that I've been exposed to on here. I've been threatened by Andrew England fanboys who think that he was a swell person, despite the fact that at one point Andrew England had a girlfriend. And what did he do with her? She got raped at a party at one point. Called her a slut, right? And how did he do with it? You know, he went and he called her a slut, dumped her, and basically uh, had a, a, a bunch of his supporters bombard her over the phone for weeks on end with threats and harassment and targeted harassment against her. Uh, that's the kind of caliber of person, and, and people are literally responding to me for calling him out by telling me that they're firing up the ovens for me. And that's the kind of people we have here on YouTube. That's the kind of the caliber of the moral character and the true colors of the people here on YouTube. You have people on here who literally, literally, for real, for real, like they would condemn me and call me the evil one, but they would speak in praise of Pinochet, the murderous dictator and, and thug from, from Chile who tormented the Chilean people, you know, because... After all, he's the USA's thug, so, you know, my country sent him, so therefore it must be justice, right? Except no, obviously, not everything America does is righteous or the right thing. You know, Henry Kissinger is a monster for what he did there. And so are, so are the people that, are, that admire him and look up to him and respect him as a person, and they're monsters because and by merit of respecting him. And really, nothing else is needed for them to be monstrous people. People who are the embodiment of evil, you know? And that, and we know they're evil because they would defend somebody like that. They would look up to somebody like that. You know? Uh, that they would look up and praise somebody like Pinochet. And these are the people here on YouTube, you know, and then there's the other the crowd of people, the Holocaust deniers, the ones that are trying to deny the atrocities that obviously did occur, you know, and are trying their best to basically be like, not Germany was the victim and Hitler did nothing wrong. You know, you've got that crowd here on YouTube. You've got uh, racist A number one here on YouTube. You've got plenty of those, you know. Uh, and by the way, race realism, race realism is racism. You know, period, end of story. There's no room for discussion there. So you've got you've got real racist here on YouTube. You've got, you know, I do like the Peach's response to Hey Ruka. I, I'm definitely on the Peach's response on that one. I take her side wholeheartedly in that debate. And that response video she did to Hey Ruka. And yeah, look, obviously I'm white. I don't appreciate racist bitches. I'm not fond of racist white girls. You know, they suck. You know, scram.
Ruka. You know, uh, yeah, I, I just came on here and rejected another YouTuber. Uh, <laughs> not hard, you know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not such a simp or white knight at the end of the day. Now am I? You know, you guys have this reputation. You guys have this way of thinking of me. Like I just throw myself at you know whatever pussy, you know, and I'll take whatever. But no, I wouldn't take Ruka. I wouldn't fuck her. Well, you know, she's. I wouldn't go out with her either, you know, because she's racist. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want a racist girlfriend. I don't approve of that kind of shit. You know, no. Nah. I mean, I might. I might like. I might be willing to date somebody with my skin color, but I don't want to date a racist one. <laughs> it's really. It's really that simple. You know, racist white ladies. Uh, please, yeah, you know, find some other man. I, you know, I'm not. I don't want you. That's really all that there is to that, uh, you know. And, and you know, I, I have to deal with with the with the people like that, like hey, Ruka, who you know, there's who literally have to skip over like all of the evidence that contradicts her worldview in order to carry forward her worldview into this perspective into this world. They have to consciously try to uh, like skip over any. Uh, research or or people that would disagree with her, and and you, you know you'll find that a lot of these people, when you ask them for their sources, will often be listing sources from like way back in 1950. You'll be, <laughs> you know, you'll see that very quickly that that a lot of the people that are conservatives and the people like um, you, you know, the women who come on here, like it, it almost felt bad. I almost had that that moment and twinge of doubt when um Lauren Southern came on here and you know made you know the points that she made in a lot of those videos because it's like we started looking over what it was that she was actually pointing to and it was some guy's blog spot you know like some guy's blog spot was considered a legitimate source for data you know it, like some some blogger is who we're going to go to to back up the you know video that was a, a video for women basically addressing them um that's insane you know and, and the degree of stupidity and the degree of and like incompetence that you would have to come from to say that you had sources and then be citing somebody's wordpress blog was so breathtaking and astonishingly stupid that it it felt I felt bad for Lauren and even calling it out because it was like wow like I'm impressed I'm sh I'm in a state of stunned disbelief at how poor the evidence that you have actually is for the shit that you're saying I I just I it's out of this world how bad like, if you go, go, go to Lauren Southern's videos about, you know, these, you know, Sean and his channel did a response video to her that was pretty much gold, you know, and, and even the sorry Lauren was understandable because it was like, wow. <laughs> I mean, I mean, really, it was that bad. It was some guy's WordPress blog was what she was linking to. Or, you know, you know it was a blog spot, and, you know, it, like. It, I, I, I'm. I'm very fond of the merits of blogging, but not every blogger is like on an even footing, if you know what I mean. Like, what I'm trying to say in a, in a huge way is that some of these people don't know what evidence really looks like, you know, like, and what they're putting forward on their blogs. We have no reason to really trust it because it's not coming from like academic peer reviewed research it, researchers, it's not coming from scientific journals with a high impact factor. You know, it, it's just coming from fundamentally suspect shit and databases that we have no reason to really actually trust, you know, that have no real credibility whatsoever and are just fundamentally suspect where they're getting their data from, you know, and you're, you're, you're starting to suspect that they get it from their own anus, you know, in, in a lot of these cases. And, and that was what happened with the Lauren Southern video. And it, it was just look, I know what an academic peer reviewed article is. Do you want like, I, 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 I can pull one down and, you know, with, uh, 
Sci-Hub and put it in the description bar, you know, for any particular topic that I want, you know, to talk about on any given Sunday, you know, so that the people that watch this particular channel, but I, I really, I'm in a state of despair because, you know, in a lot of ways that I wanted to, I wanted to educate people in the same way that like Concordance was putting forward about anecdotal evidence and everything else. I like Concordus and his videos. I like the antidotal evidence videos that he produced, but there there's a lot of shit that goes down here on YouTube that is so morally reprehensible and absolutely vomit inducingly disgusting to have to see take place and I'm describing some of these people. I'm describing you know, Peanut Chats fanboys that will see me come into the videos and express a sense of disgust at the murderous dictator and then basically offer me, uh, you know, a helicopter ride as if I'm dumb enough to not know about the history of people being thrown out of, you know, helicopters without a fucking parachute. And all I'm thinking is, no, you're the one that should be put in it, that should be given the parachute list helicopter ride because you're a Peanut Chat fanboy. So I think, uh, yeah, I really do. I'm I'm at the point where I think that we need to create a new form of what they used to call ethnic cleansing, but this won't be on the basis of ethnicity. It'll be on the basis of opinion. America needs to be cleansed of Holocaust deniers. It needs to be cleansed of Pinochet supporters and fanboys and anybody who thinks along the lines of... Uh, you know, essentially, uh, that man was a murderous thug, but at least he was the United States as murderous thug. Um, it needs to be cleansed of a lot of, you know, anybody who says something along the lines of Hitler did nothing wrong. Uh, you know, all of these people, you know, in, in great numbers should just be uh, the only sane policy towards them outright is eliminationism, a purge. America should be purified of such filth. 